ready set and ready set go ready set go ready set go ready set go hola buenas tardes mi raza latina everyone in the world como están mi nombre es enrique mucho gusto bienvenido a mi canal si sí, guys I am going to use this video as my, my my first introduction for my first YouTube channel. Me llamo Enrique Bailon. Um, just a little introduction of myself. I want you guys to get to know me for first before I start posting videos that I am going to regret once they are uploaded. Uh, but guys, just to give you guys a little bit of background of myself, just, that way you guys can get to know who I am y la persona que soy yo. Y el motivo que estoy haciendo este canal y el motivo, como les digo, mis sobrinas son las que me inspiran, me motivan. Tengo una buena relación con mis sobrinas. So, lo hago claramente. Este canal lo estoy haciendo por ellas porque, I mean, they're like, you know, they're girls. They want to have fun. And I feel like at a young age, if you give them the opportunity to express themselves and just be unique, you know, Nothing can stop them and that's what I want to do with my nieces. Um, that's what I want to do with my brothers because you know they, they look up to me and I just want to show them that don't be embarrassed, don't be shy, don't let no one put you down, don't let no one judge you because they're no they're no one to judge you, especially who you are. Um soy mexicano. Um what else? Tengo una hermana, tengo dos hermanos, uh, somos cuatro en total. Uh mi cuñado, mi mamá, mi papá, claro. Uh, mis sobrinas, Maggie y Maya, that they're gonna be part of the show. <laughs> so you guys are gonna get to know her more. Uh, they're very crazy and unique. So honestly, guys, if you guys get to uh, experience these girls, if you guys are tíos, one thing, if you guys are uncles and you have nieces and you know that they're gonna grow up, you know, uh, I don't have any kids. I don't. So, um, yeah, you know, uh, my nieces, my brothers, uh, my mom and my dad, my brother-in-law you know yes i so yeah i don't have any kids so my kids are my nieces and my nephew i have a five-year-old little nephew you guys will see him too he's very unique and different uh, my brother jared he's very shy uh, he's more into gaming so he's gonna be not even in the video because he'll probably talk shit yeah i love you brother uh my brother justin he's very shy too he's more uh quiet kind of like whenever he feels like he wants to be you know uh, crazy he'll get his crazy side but not like me and my sister we are crazy um so we get it from my dad's side of the family because my mom is very conservative it's not relajada uh, mi papá, la familia de mi papá, pues, they are <laughs> yeah le gustan pistear le gustan diversi divir divertirse so hey i can respect that we only live once I went to college i went to school i got my degrees i'm doing this i'm doing that you know i got my bachelor's i'm working i'm getting my master's so we'll see how that goes everything is a process but everything is possible and everything is you know you can accomplish it if anything you want so i'm telling myself if i can graduate with my bachelor's degree and be in school for so many years and then let's take this youtube job as a career path be different I guess um, so we'll see how that goes I'm really curious I'm gonna take this uh, I'm gonna risk it you know uh, I don't know how many people are gonna judge me I don't know how many people are going to hate me I don't know how many people are gonna like me hate me uh, dislike me judge me talk shit about me and yeah so one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys I am gay so before you guys start talking shit I am coming out my family knows about me. Uh, they're very happy. It's not a topic that we talk about, to be honest with you guys. Como Latino, es muy difícil, especialmente hablarle a tus papás uh, sobre tu orientación sexual. Um, yo cuando le dije a mis papás, tenía 23 años. And it was really hard for me to expose my sexuality, especially to my, to my dad. You know, uh, being Latino, Mexicano, you know, muchos mexicanos son bien machistas son bien you know like the man and you know you have to be like that so it was really hard for for me to tell my dad pero you know it was the easiest person to tell cuando yo le dije a mi papá y a mi mamá um 
Claro, llorando. I was under the influence of alcohol, so I was really devastated. I was, you know, I was out with my friends. We were, you know, talking about everything, how I fell in love with someone. And I was 21 years old, 23 years old, I'm sorry. Um, you know, that when I met this person, you know, I never thought that I was going to fall in love. And, you know, when I first met in love with him and, you know, what, and months later i don't know like the sixth seventh month you know what i told him um i told jason i remembered that if i ever fall in like if i like someone so much and that person asked me to move in i would definitely move in i would take a risk because i'm 23 years old i should move out of my parents house you know pero como siempre las mamas son bien um they're so overprotected, and I love my mom because she's still at this age. I'm 29 years old. Mi mamá todavía me trata como niño chiquito, and that's never going to change. Ask me, let's move in together. You know, I think, you know, we are able to, you know, build a relationship, build a future together. So I did, and I told my parents, you know what? This is the reason why I'm moving out, and, you know, I'm coming out to you guys. And I was really happy when I told my mom and my dad. They were very supportive, very positive, very understanding, very loving. Um, and I'm never going to forget that night. I am so blessed to have a dad that loves me and a mom that loves me so much. I accept me as long as my parents accept me for who I am. That's all that matters. I really don't care what other people think about me. And as long as I'm happy and I'm successful and I'm uh, living and and I'm um, accomplishing the dreams that I want to live, then I'm gonna be happy. And if you guys don't like me for being gay, me vale madre. You know, it's like my dad says, you you're not feeding me, you're not paying my bills. Why would you care? What what matters? Are you? That's all I gotta say. If I'm gay, I'm gonna be happy because my parents have set me for who I am. Y como siempre le digo a mi dad, you know, I love my dad to death. I'm never gonna change the person who I am. I'm gonna continue being me. And that's one thing that I tell my mom. Even though I am, I grew up in Tolleson, Arizona. Yes, Tolleson, Arizona. I went to P.H. Gonzalez, um, home of the Aztecs. I graduated from Tolleson Union High School, home of the Wolverines. I graduated from Phoenix College, home of the oh shoot i forgot uh, home of the bruins yes and then graduated from asu uh home of the sun devils yes guys i graduated from asu with my bachelor's degree um i'm currently working as a bht uh behavioral health technician and a fsp for a nonprofit um organization here in the valley of arizona i do i work with kids that are uh, facing challenges in their life from the ages of five till uh, 18 years old. I, I help them with their um, with obstacles that they face in life and you know just be a mentor be that supportive brother um that i am with my siblings and you know my nieces so that's one thing that i i, I love my job i love working with my youth you know i have five boys that i that i enjoy working with and they're amazing and they they're so respectful and you know they talk to me for whatever issue they have so that's what i do guys that's my part-time job i do have a part and i'm sorry guys this is where i realized that i'm talking so much <laughs> And then I work for the state of Arizona. It's a small agency that works for people with developmental disabilities. I do the program administrative uh, for this small business here in Phoenix as well. I love my job, guys. That's my full-time job. Imagine working with 25 um, amazing souls that, you know, they tell you, I love you every day. Or they, they, they just want to hug you, kiss you, tell you how much they love you. It's the best feeling, guys. That's where I started learning. That's where I got myself into this field when it comes to case, you know, the social work aspect. Um, I don't have my bachelor's degree on social worker, but I do have my bachelor's in business. Um, that's one thing that I got into this field because of my first job when I work at Chicanos por la Causa. I was doing medical case management services for people living with HIV. And that was my, my, my career path when I started working for Chicanos. Um, after that, I moved to Maricopa County Public Health and I work as a CDI, as a clinical disease investigator. Uh, that uh, you find uh, sources where the infection is coming from uh, when it comes to HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia, you know, all those diseases that you can think of that CDC uh, deals with, like Ebola, HPV, so on. So I used to do that, do that a lot. It was very, at first I was very, you know, nervous to start working, but at the same time you learn and you experience it and you live it, you meet people and it's something that you know you just have the passion and i feel like helping others is my passion hopefully i can help others um teniendo este canal espero que um 
los motive, los ayude. Uh, yeah, and, and that's why I'm using this channel as, a, you know, as positive. Como todos los usan, todos usan este canal para ser positivos. No queremos, de, I don't want negative, negativity. I'm tired of negativity, guys. Like, I want to live my life. I just want to be happy. I want to enjoy my life. I want to be successful. I want to feel amazing. And, you know, you see YouTube videos and you learn from others. How they live, how they are, who they hang out with. And just to know that they are um, enjoying life and not giving a fuck what people think about. That's what I want to do. I want to stop giving a fuck about others. The only reason why I got interested on in pursuing fashion designing is because of my grandmother. My grandmother created my sister's, my cousin's quinceanera dress. And I was always right next to my grandma, not watching her sew, but her getting, being creative. You know, decorating the halls or stuff like that. That's where I think I got it from. So I remember when I was little, I would watch my grandma so knit, like, you know, use those big machines, uh, cut, you know, measure girls and bring all these people to try on their dresses. And it's just like, wow, I can't believe my grandma created, you know, 30 dresses for this quinceanera and then another piece. So that's where I got interested in fashion designing. Um, I want to use this platform because I feel that I haven't seen uh, men YouTubers that are, you know, um, I do see, you know, YouTubers that are fashionista, but more into comedy, and I don't want that. I've been watching, you know, I'm going to give you guys a rundown of the YouTubers that I love, love to watch. First, Amber Skull, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson. Of course, I grew up watching Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, MySpace. Uh, you know, who else? Uh, David Dobrik, uh, Zayn uh, uh Jeff, uh, who else? Louis Castro. You know, uh, like Josie Ochoa, you know, she's a really, really positive influencer that positive, very uh, supportive of, you know, fitness. And that's me. I used to weigh 250 pounds, guys. I was not, no somos expertos, pero estamos aprendiendo de otros. Especialmente, you know, you see YouTubers that, um, that provide free fitness you know that's what i do or uh you have instagram you know you have snapchat guys you know anything is possible si tienes la mente um enfocada en eso pero yeah bueno mi gente latina aquí me despido y me dio mucho gusto de que hasta tomaran el tiempo de conocerme y especialmente ver mi video uh like i said i'm going to make this my first official video for my channel uh so i am really really nervous uh como les dije uh si tienen a uh, positive feedback please put it on my link below and then leave any comments that you would like for me to answer. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, go to my G uh, to my Instagram account and my Snapchat. I'm going to leave the uh, the stuff abajo para que ustedes me agreguen. And you guys get to know me more and to see what I, I am all about. And just, you know, give me your feedback. I want to I wanna hear you guys. Um, especially uh, get to know my raza latina. You know, mi, mi raza mexicana. Mi raza oaxaqueña. Mi raza capulqueña. Uh, Guatemala. Whoever. Every Latina in the world. Everyone in the world. Who cares if you're black, white, brown, yellow, pink, purple. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome to be in my channel, guys. Come to my channel. Subscribe. Hit those notification buttons. You know, let's, let's have a positive life. So, guys, if you guys want to get to know me, please add me, guys. Um, um, it will be an amazing to have this experience with you guys, especially, you know, started from the bottom and now we here. So, you guys, if you guys are interested, uh, bienvenidos a mi canal. Gracias por tomar, como les digo otra vez, if I repeat myself, welcome back, you know, welcome to my channel, welcome to the family. Uh, bienvenidos a la familia Bailón. Hey, soy Bailón. Uh, Bailón Mendez. Pero, Bienvenidos a la familia Bailón y espero que les guste mi video, les guste mi canal y espero que um, hagan subscribe en mi canal, hit that notification button so whenever I upload videos, we'll see if I, whenever I post one, let's see how this one goes. Um, I'm still nervous to post it on my Instagram and Snapchat because I am going to be very nervous uh, to uh, show my friends, but that's something that I'm very nervous when it comes to like posting things because I don't want my friends to judge me. Let's see what the the what what type of feedback i get from my friends because it's really important to get others feedback um so a ver como nos va and i will keep you guys posted thank you guys for taking your time on watching my channel especially conociéndome y espero que les guste y espero que muy pronto los mire otra vez 
Y como les dije, agreguenme en Instagram, Snapchat. Me llamo Enrique Bailón. Y como les digo, viva mi raza.